Okay, we are live right now. Let me turn on this light. Gotta make sure everything's good. All right, I have some time to myself before I start talking to everybody. <clears throat> we got the vibes going right now. The vibes are going. As you can see here, we got the, I guess you could call these soundscapes, but nice calming music going. We got the lights going and uh, we're doing good. We're doing good in here. What's going on AZN? Um, what was I trying to look up on this thing? No, do I, do I have that or not? Well, I hope everyone's doing good out there. All right, all right, all right. Yara, what's going on? Relay. How you doing, Yara? Blue Bell in the house. We got 519 Media. Stu, Rolando, things are going well. JT Money. JT Money used to be a rapper back in the day from Florida. Um, Marisol, hello, God bless you. Ginger Flips, everything's well, bro. Everything's well. We got BHD, Tammy, hi, Angela, from Scotia. Oh, man, that's crazy. Simply boring. What's going on with you? Uh, we're just getting started. Sika is in the house. Lynn was from Texas. Uh, Hart will always be in Massachusetts. Okay. Diana, how are you doing? BD, Sarah S., from Georgia, Yara back in here again. We've got uh, Nick M. What's going on with you, sir? Carol, passenger. Ziggity Bond from Michigan. Okan from Austria. Brother, what are you? What time is it in Austria right now? <laughs> Aren't you guys like five hours ahead of us? That's crazy. It's like two in the morning over there. Um, so hello to all my insomniacs. It's okay. It's okay. Um, what do we got? YT. Keep up that energy. Positivity going, man. Yes, we're going. We're going. Uh, Melissa, how are you doing? From San Antonio. Angela from West Virginia. How are you? Cindy and Kathy. Um, we also have Dina and Ju. Uh, we also... Oh, what's, what's happening there? We got uh, Andrea. Yolanda, or Yolanda, excuse me. Uh, Domenica is in the house. We got Billy, Adam, Seneca, The Great Reset. Hey, I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching the content, guys. We're, we're, doing, we're, we're doing really well with the content, and um, it's great to put so much effort into these videos and for the videos to be received so well. It, it, it means a lot to me. I, I really appreciate all of you. Um, Anthony, hey, apologies ahead of time, guys. If I miss anybody, it's all love. I'm just trying to keep up here. We've, we've got 84 people right now. That's a solid number. Uh, random guy. What's going on with you, boss? Okan is in here. It's 2.02 a.m. right now. Woo, we got insomniacs in the house, man. Oh, don't worry, I'll keep you company. TL from the ATL. We got uh, Lynn. And I'm trying not to uh, r repeat your names twice here, guys, because I got a lot of names to get to here. Uh, Blue Top. We've got... Um, it, how do I say that? Pet Patrick? Deliveries were awful today. <laughs> to deliveries, it was slow. It's been a slow week. We'll talk about it. But I did okay. I broke 100 at least, right? So... Um, 
We got a super chat. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate you very, very much. Uh, Hex World. Greetings from, is that South Carolina? Yep. And Apologia today. Um, this is Ness. What's up, brother? God bless. Everyone's just doing greetings right now. Just found you on Monday. Been binging ever since. I appreciate you, husky dork. All right, Anthony C. We got a hey, Priscilla. How are you doing? Julie K is in the house from St. Louis. Uh, Christy, uh, Tajapara. I'm so sorry if I butcher your name, guys. Don't don't, don't uh, take it personally. Um, and uh, we got Deborah. Deborah, much love. I, I appreciate. It. Is, is that the Deborah who hit me up on Venmo? I think so. Much love to you. Um, so congrats on 14.8 thousand subscribers. I was lurking at about 5k. That's amazing. All right. Yeah. So we're the algorithm is doing what it's doing, guys, and it's crazy just to see these numbers go up and to see more and more people engaging with the content and, and relating to the content. So I feel like there's a lot of people who are relating to the topics that I'm talking about, whether it's just financial hardships or uh, addiction, living in a car, um, trying to turn your life around sort of thing. There's a lot of people out there who are going through similar situations and we're all in this community together. So I, I greatly appreciate you guys. Uh, makes me feel less alone and hopefully you feel less alone. All right. Um, Jury, thank you. Thank you for the super thanks. Um, we're going to call those super chats. So we've also got uh, people doing funny little cartoon characters as well. So those are really interesting and funny to see. I wish we had Ninja Turtle badges. Somebody help me with that. Um, okay. So, salute from Mexico. Short dog, what's going on? Uh, Anthony, more peeps is in the house. We got Robert S. Your videos are great. Look forward to the next one. Everything you do is so well uh, thought out. It is. I, I put a lot of work and time into those videos. Check the video out. I, I dropped the video today, actually. I don't know if you caught it. Uh, it's a 30-minute video. If you haven't, check it out. But yes, guys, I put a lot of thought into these videos. And for example, the video I put out this morning. Also, let me know if this is too loud. I have the... Um, I have the soundscapes going right here. Let me know if that's too loud. Give me a thumbs down if it's too loud. Give me a thumbs up if it's okay. Uh, yeah, so like uh, for a 30 minute video that I put out, three days I, I, I take to to film and edit and upload and make sure that it's, it's nice for you guys. I, I like to serve up videos like I'm serving up a meal. I like it to be nice and tasty with lots of ingredients, all right? So I appreciate you guys. Um, Analytica. It's also where I am, but I'm doing a different app. Okay. OBG Foster. Only one delivery then got hit with a T. Yes. Do you know what's crazy, dude? Is that the... Sorry if, if you're a dude or do that. But um, it was slow today for lunch, and then dinner just started popping off. I started getting stacked orders with, with, uh, with Door, uh, DoorDash. Dana. Hey. Utopia of Foods. Hey, Brent. I didn't think I would make it because it's 10 my time. But you know what? I'm up for another couple of minutes before I crash. Wanted to say a quick hello. Hope everything's well. Everything is well. Thanks for joining, even if it's just for a few minutes. And uh, you'll be able to catch the replay as well. Um, guys, um, I decided to stick to a time limit this time as opposed to just rambling on. So we got 90 minutes, all right? I decided to commit to 90 minutes. So we're going to be here till 1030, my time, just rambling, just chilling, okay? <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Um, Canada. Really enjoy your channel. What part of Canada? Uh, Billy. That's my birthday, January 22nd, 1970. Congratulations. All right. Utopia of Foods, Atlantic Canada. NB. Pardon my ignorance, guys. I'm not a geography buff. NB. What is that? I don't know. Uh, legend. We got Columbia, and then we got, hi, Brent, hope you're doing good. I am doing good. I am doing good. You know, we're all doing good in here together. Um, what's up, bro? Subs are increasing. LFG. 
Does that mean let's fucking go? Yes, I think it might. Um, hello from New Hampshire. Uh, Jeanette Messer. Uh, Maria Gordonapo. Hello to you. Hi, Bren. I hit you up. I'm glad you enjoyed your stickers. Oh, you're the one who sent me the stickers. That's right. Yeah, I, those stickers are going to be... Uh, I'll put them in my, my notebook or I'll give a few over to them. Well, my son has a younger brother um, who, who would love those stickers as well. So I'll, I'll share. I'll share. But I'll definitely be keeping a few for myself. I love when you go out and do your deliveries. Appreciate it. Um, that was me on Venmo, Rhonda. Oh, yes, Rhonda. I, so your name is different here. It says Relay. So, Rhonda, I appreciate you. Much love there. Much love. Um, we have... Uh, Sun September, will you keep your channel once you move into a home? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that we can do some homestead videos, whereas like, you know, I'll wake up in the morning in my place and then we'll take off and we'll do like, like an actual full out car life adventure. And it, it'll go from like me ha um, living in, in, in a car by force to like me living in a car by, you know, choice. I'll, I'll be, I'll be doing it not out of necessity, I guess you could say. I'll, I'll be, you know, in a place and, you know, we can go out and we can do some camping, cooking videos. I'd like to do more of that. Kind of like what Mav does, do you know what I mean? This guy goes out and he just freaking, I don't know, that guy's, he's, he's crazy with it. Um, so, the, do, 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 do. sober since 1983, one day at a time. Congratulations, OBG Foster. Man, there's a lot of people in sobriety in, 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 this, in this community here. It's very, it's, it's inspiring to see so many people in here that, that have gone through similar situations. Or maybe you're just sober because you just want to be sober. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be, like, addicted to it, right? Uh, how long do you plan to live in, in the car? You know, I stopped planning um, a while ago because plan, like my plan, my plan just always, it doesn't seem to pan out the way I, I plan it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. That's up to God right now. I, I, I just need to do, I need to work hard. I need to stay sober. And, and that's the plan. So hopefully I would like to be in, a, in an apartment by Christmas, but um, I've got some more debt to pay off and... Um, you know, I just got hit with a pretty, pretty sizable tax bill, um, which I'll be talking about in another video. But um, I'm not, I'm not too concerned with it, guys, because I have my job, and and YouTube is pulling in some dough, and and um, I've, I've got some things cooking. I've got some things cooking. Um, all right. Sending love from Ukraine. Stay real and genuine, man. God bless you. Everything will be great for you, dear friend. Thank you. Much love to you over there in the Ukraine. Uh, Priscilla, you're very relatable and your food choices are bomb. Thanks, Priscilla. Um, Okan Kale, I'm sure you're going to hit uh, 500,000 one day, brother. Love your content. Just keep going and trust the process. You'll, you'll remember my words. I appreciate that, man. That, that would be nuttier than squirrel poop. All right. Kevu, what's going on with you? Ginger Flips, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Do you have 1992 lifeguard leo if not what if not you do now what does that mean what does that mean tell us what that means that's crazy i don't have i do have vintage toys though i do i have a i have a strong vintage collection um who is that hey big shout out uh, super thanks legend genovese Tasha from Instagram here. Oh, yes, I saw you on there. Uh, can't stay on live, but keep going, Bren. You are an inspiration. Hi to the TMNT boys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on Instagram. Guys, follow me on, on, on Instagram, Bren P. Grace. Um, hello from Florida. Okay, I'm going to go back up here. So I've been watching all your videos. I have a question. I'm just curious to know as how you don't have a regular full-time job. Uh, well, I've been in the gig economy for a long time, and you know what it is? I just, I really prefer working for myself. I like working alone, um, and I like the flexibility of, of gig work. Um, I prefer it to like a traditional nine to five job, but that's why, I guess, you know, I, I just prefer to work for myself. 
Uh, I'm not opposed to a traditional job, though. I mean, if I do find one, because the gig economy is pretty rough, I, I, I will say. But um, we've got new blessings coming into my life right now through additional income sources with, with YouTube. So there's a lot to be grateful for there. But yeah, I, I just prefer working for myself, I guess. Uh, we got uh, Allie. Hi, from Florida. What's going on? I lived in Florida for a long time. Grateful mom. Hello from Texas. Abby, I'm a little late, but nah, but how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm good to see you guys. Austin, hey, shout out to you. I live in North Providence. What's going on, Austin? North Providence is one of my favorite places to work on, on uh, Mineral Spring Ave. There's a lot of hot spots out there. Julie K, Andrew, shout out from Uganda. Bam! Freaking Africa's in here. This is incredible. Cynthia Green from Ohio. Love watching your videos. Uh, hello from Wisconsin. We got uh, Taj uh, Para as well with a very funny looking um, peace face emoji. Victor DeSalva. Sup, brother? How are you doing, Victor? Hmm. Is that the Victor from PayPal? Let me know if it is. Short Dog. Uh, OBG Foster. Melissa Vargas is in the house. Uh, Melissa, how are you doing? We got Apologia and we got Maria. And how do you feel about some people question your reality? How do you, let me rephrase that. And how do you feel about some people who question your reality? I don't really feel much about them. I mean, people are going to think what they want, you know. Um, I don't have to question my reality. And I think most people viewing this channel don't either. I try to be as authentic as possible. Um, and I think you might be getting to the people who, who challenge, like if I live in my car, you know, people, some people actually don't believe that I live in my car, regardless of how many videos I've made and all that stuff. But people kind of just jump on and make assumptions anyway. So I try not to feel much about them at all, to be honest with you. Um, because you know, they're not in my life and they, they don't really see what's going on for real, you know? Um, so the thumbs down too loud, man, y'all are confusing me. This person's got a thumbs up and a thumbs down. I'm getting a lot of thumbs up saying that it's okay. So I'm just going to leave it. You know what? I'll do a notch. I'll do a notch. We're just trying to keep the vibes up. What to do there, Sonny Jim? Dan, how are you? What tools do you use for editing? I use an app called Villo, V-L-L-O. Uh, what do you plan on doing with the channel as it continues to grow? I just want to keep putting out content um, and it's going to be a mixture of vlogs and talk videos and um, every once in a while we'll be doing lives as well. Perhaps maybe I can commit to one live per week. I'm just not there yet with, with the uh, commitment for that. You know, there's people from the UK who can't watch right now because they're all asleep. And, and I was thinking about alternating, like maybe one week I'll do a nighttime for everyone in the USA. And then uh, the following week I can do a morning live for people in the UK who can, who can kind of just watch it as well. Do you cook in your car? Uh, yes, I do. Pasta, oatmeal, rice mostly. Uh, the Great Reset. Four weeks sober for you. Good job. Let's go. Once you hit that 30 day mark, it's a, it's a great feeling. Um, let me move back here, guys. We're going to switch positions here. All right. Let's switch positions real quick. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. All right. Uh, I'm new from suck ass, Jer from suck ass Jersey. Just picked up a Toyota Sienna for when I have to vacate my current location. All right. Rolando, thumbs up. All right. So the sound is good. Mode Rashid, hi, morning uh, here from, uh, morning here from Asian. I think I'm far subscriber for you. Yes, you are. Whereabouts in Asia? Uh, Blue Bell, Ninja Turtle, I'm guessing that means Donatello. Um, Dana Collette says, I had to go to Amazon and get the lounge lamp. Yes, get that thing, it's nice. Trying to, trying to read faster. You inspired me to car camp last weekend at a Walmart in Charleston. Uh, 2016 Jeep Cherokee. It went well. I used a lot of your advice, suggestions, and gear. Uh, the Jackery. Good. I'm glad the advice is, is actually working for you guys. Uh, Anthony G, you're going to be a millionaire. <laughs> you deserve it. That's crazy. Um, Dan Little John. 
Video is hung, or maybe it's me. Video is hung? What does that mean? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna be living in the car too. Thanks for all the info, man. No problem, retro. Uh, MJ says, sub dude, hello from Oakland. What's going on? Billy, the great reset, proud moment. Uh, Andrea Cupcake, thumbs up. Deborah, I volunteer at a feed store for my friend. I love it. It's called Feeds Are Us. That's a cool name and a cool purpose. AZN, super chat. Thank you so much. GP, yo, hope all is well, fam. Everything's good. Thank you. Maria says, I'm in Ontario, Canada, by the way. Okay, Ontario. Sean Law, I deliver for Spark, Instacart, and Uber. I'm in PA. That's awesome. All right, we're going to move down to Linda, Toronto, uh, Ontario here. We got Lucas uh, Ven, Ven Druscolo. Hello from Brazil. Really enjoy your content. Thanks, Lucas. Husky Dork, no baseball. Uh, uh, Leo Metcalf says, hi. Scott Armstrong, what's the most cash you have ever made in one night? Hmm. With uh, with DoorDash, um, I think it was close to four hundred. I think it was a snow day. I think it was like three ninety something, uh, three ninety something. And I actually didn't work that long. I think I worked like eight hours or something like that. It was just back to back, nonstop, nonstop stackers. The snow, the snow is crazy. All right, so here we go. Um, but then you have to back out like expenses and stuff. So it's, it's you know, it, it goes lower. Angela, New Brunswick in the house. What's going on? Zizin, what a coincidence. Just stumbled intro in, into your channel. Watched three videos and now you're live. What's going on with you, Zizin? Zezin? Debra, uh, you are a sweet guy. D. Uh, Dana, super thanks. Thank you so much, Dana. And what does that say? It says, I'll be back. Oh, okay. You guys are getting, st where do you guys get all these stickers from? Hey, Stu, do you know what's funny about your username? Every time I see it, it uh, in my mind, I think of, you know, S-T-F-U. You know what I mean? Shut the fuck up. That, that, that's, what, that's what I see when I see that. It's a little confusing. Um, hello from Turkey. What's up? How are you? And I also love turkey to eat. Uh, Maria Gardenopa. Bren, get it together. Maria Gardenapo. Hello. Pam says, hi from Texas. Is the rice cooker the only appliance you have? A uh, cooking appliance? Yes. Lindsay says, love your videos. Fellow Rhode Islander here. Whereabouts? Analytical one, super chat. Keep it up. Thank you so much. OBG Foster says, uh, I have a tip to share. I attached an over-the-cabinet door wire organizer to, pa to passenger headrest for beverages lined with the Reflectix. Now I can use my beverage holders for my beverages. Clever ideas, man. There's so many clever, clever car lifers out there and van lifers, and a lot of them are truck drivers, too. Truck drivers have tricks up their sleeve, man. Katie L., love the stickers you got. Uh, yes, I love the, the stickers as well. You talking about the Ninja Turtle stickers? Yep. Oh, Deborah, are you, you're the one who sent me money through PayPal. Listen, much love. I, if I could give you a hug through this screen, I would. I would. Much love. Thank you for your support. HSSH says, hi, Bren, dash, dash. Zizin, I missed that part. Are you about to move into a home? Uh, like, a, like a mental institution? Possibly. Uh, but no apartment just yet. It's not in sight just yet. I'm going to keep on working and living in my car for now, and, and I'm just going to keep working at it. CS, I'd love to see car camping videos. Check out my channel. I've got a few of those. Um, oops, caps. Sorry, you said, I'd love to see car camping videos. Um, sorry, I'm starting to lose it, guys. Starting to lose it. Hex World, I might be moving into my car this May. Good for you, man. Make the most of it, all right? Be prepared. Don't be a silly Billy. Uh, Carol Church. Hi, new sub from North Carolina. Much love to you. Allie, hello from Florida. Is that two Allies from Florida? 
Legend Genovese coming at it again uh, with the super thanks. Tasha from Instagram here. Can't stay on live, but keeping you live, you are an inspiration. I think I'm reading the same thing over and over again, am I? Oh, crap. Am, am I doing that? All right, no, 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 I'm not. Bear with me, guys. Having some silly moments here. Lindsay, hi from Oregon. I really like your videos. They helped me relax during some nighttime anxiety. Nighttime anxiety sucks. You should listen to, the, to, to this. The soundscape and take some deep breaths. And have some calming lights as well. It really helps with anxiety. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm in a very relaxed uh, state at the moment, even though I'm uh, trying to read all these comments. Um, <sighs> Would you prefer a van or a house to live in? Uh, honestly, I'd, I'd like a little house, like a small house. Uh, but I, I'm really attracted to the idea of living in a van also. So, There are so many YouTubers that show life in a car. How can we tell fake or not? I know yours is real. What are the telltale signs? This is a terrific question. Um, telltale signs. I actually don't really know how to answer that, I guess. I mean, I guess like some people... Some people say that they're... I don't know, so, some people are like doing it for adventure sake and then the, you have other people who are kind of backed up financially and that's why they're doing it so i guess like does their does their tone match their story i guess i i don't know i, I honestly don't know I, I don't think too much about it but it, it is a tricky question maybe someone else can answer that for me um what are your tips to fight addiction urges that's a terrific question so i learned a little skill called play it forward okay and um, what that means is, you know, I envision myself going into the bar or the liquor store and I play it forward. I play the entire day forward and I see myself binge drinking, binge drinking. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just escaping and avoiding. And then I see myself blacking out and I see myself waking up at 4 a.m. And I see myself uh, with that horrible, horrible headache and all that shame and guilt just piling onto me. And, and then I start drinking again to deal with the shame and guilt. And I see myself not just drinking for one day, I see myself drinking for two, three days and just going on and on and on. And that, that really helps with um, avoiding the urge. Play the tape forward, all right? Just envision yourself screwing up. You know what I mean? It's, that's just one thing that I do. All right, what do we have going on here? Maria, uh, super super thanks. That's Canadian. Thank you so much. You are an inspiration. I don't live in my car, but still feel lost. So thank you. Thank you, Maria. Uh, picking for a living. Thank you so much. I appreciate your positive attitude and chill vibe. It has been a good influence on me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm doing my best here, guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. my grandma said that god giggles when he makes plans <laughs> from julie thank you cozy vids love them thank you dana that's so great people are sharing their recovery also it's a beautiful thing yes there's a lot of people in here who are going to share their story of recovery and i think that all of us need to need to speak up about it you know what i mean we, we don't need to stay anonymous you know we can speak we can speak up in public. Um, cozy vids, love them. Um, hi, Bren. I see you inside the cartel. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Greetings from Stormy, Ohio. OGB. Mode Rashid, I stayed in my car, but my country weather are hot and humidity, not so comfortable. Yeah, I would not like to be in that climate. Like Florida, I, I wouldn't be able to, I would try, but wouldn't like to live in my car down, down south. Like, like, Florida at least. Greetings from Winnipeg. Um, Shai Thomas, I will keep you in my prayers. Uh, you please keep me in yours. I will. Thank you so much for tuning in. Zezin, Brazil viewer here. Aussies, uh, adventures. Hi, Bren. Carol Church comes in and says, I have family and friends there. Lindsay, oops, sorry. Ever get the Ever get the Bill Burr? Yeah, p people have said that I sound like Bill Burr sometimes, and maybe it's because I'm a fan of Bill Burr. I've seen him, tw I've seen him live once, 
and I also used to listen to his podcast a lot. Not much these days. He talks too much about sports, but um, I'm a huge fan of Bill Burr, always have been. So maybe I pick up a little bit of uh, influence from him. Um, Your humor is a riot, says Diana. Thank you. Cynthia Green says, Grandma in her 50s loved Michelangelo. You're a young grandma. Dana uh, Collette says, Bren, what is the P for in your, in your name? That stands for Patrick. Um, M. Ruga says, tax bill sucks, period, Bren. Uh, tell me about it. I'm going to move down to this. Super thanks. All right. Good evening, Bren. Very happy to see you well. Keep pushing forward, sending positive vibes your way from Lourdes. Lourdes, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we have Holly, Bren, I've been sober from Lean. I love Lean, and especially when listening to Lil Wayne. Listen, I've never tried Lean, thank God, all right? But, like, I, I, I've always been curious about Lean. Um, like, what, like, exactly what is in Lean. And I, from my, per I think it's just Sprite and vodka with, no, it's, is it Sprite and codeine or freaking NyQuil or something? I don't know. I've always wanted to know why people drink lean. Um, all right, so Matt says, always checking in, Bren. Ahmad Zuri says, Nello. Heli. Okay. I think you're trying to say hello, brother. Dead Tony says, hi from Pakistan, mate. Catching up with all your videos gradually. Great content. More power to you. Thank you so much, Zane. Picking for a living. Greetings from Long Island, New York. So we're both from islands. You got the long, I got the road. Bernie B says, hi from Melbourne, Australia. Wow, what day is it over there? I think you guys are ahead of us. Can you tell us the lottery numbers being that you're in the future? Hey, listen, big shout out to Scott Bobo. My goodness, man, this guy's a juggernaut. All right, keep up the good work. Love sharing your journey with us. Thank you so much, man. Much love, much love. You know, it's always, it's always appreciated. Got some killers in the room tonight. All right, we've got um, greetings from California. Road to 15K. Let's get it. Bernie B. Brown says hi from Melbourne. I think I'm, I reread that. Is it really that difficult to find places to sleep on the East Coast? I haven't found difficulty. Uh, Walmarts, um, motels. Uh, you can also sleep in casinos, uh, certain apartment complexes, as long as there's no heavy security. I haven't had issues. I really don't. I, I, I'm completely unbothered. Um, keep on making videos. I really like it. Content like you on YouTube, you see a lot, but your way of making videos is totally different from others. I appreciate that. Uh, content consumer. Hello from Morocco. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Maria, I sent you some dough. I did, uh, did it go through. Maria. Um... Do you know what I've been I've been doing my best to respond. I don't know which platform you used, whether it was YouTube or Venmo, but um, I do my best to respond and thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. Holly says hello from Maine. Uh, Mama Cat, love your deliveries. Great guy, love content, very funny at times. You have a lot of humor. I love your mindset. Stay strong, stay prayed up, and um, would do great with your sobriety prayer and and. Sorry, Prado would do great with your sobriety prayer. Thank you so much, Mama. Jay, Jay Dillop. Hey, Bren, do you have a carbon monoxide detector in your car? I get that question a lot. I do not. I probably should have one, but you know what? I, I haven't needed one so far. Um, and I would use a carbon monoxide detector mostly in the snow if I, if I have my engine running. That's where I would use it most of the time, but I don't have one. They're rather inexpensive. Um, and I probably should have one, but I, I haven't died yet, as you can tell. So, uh, hey, Bryn, uh, hello from Greenland, Fog on the Tin. That's a funny name. AZN, good for you, Bryn, keep doing you. We got Dawson Sand Games. Hello, hello, hello. What do you think about the TikTok drama happening? I don't know anything about that. I'm not on TikTok. Oh, wait a second. I think it was something to do with uh, they're trying to cut ties with China, right? 
Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It's, it's probably a, a, a something to do with data and China using the data um, against us in some way. I don't know. We might want to tighten up, right? Um, wow, that's an hour from for me. Oh, my God. So Bluebell says, the video is frozen on my screen. Anyone else? Double thumbs up if, if, if you're with Bluebell on that, um, if you're having a frozen uh, screen. Um, Ashley Jorette says, thank you uh, for bringing good into this world by being kind and funny. You do make a difference. Thanks, Ashley. Gabriel says, hello from Montreal, Quebec. Um, I lost my place. There it is. I just watched some of your videos with my eight-year-old daughter. Keep on the good work. Thank you so much. And I'll try to watch my language if there's kids watching. I try to watch my language anyway, but every once in a while a bad word slips out. You know? Only human. Um, so are you currently in your car or looks like you are in a fancy apartment right now? No. <laughs> just in case, you guys. Don't believe me. All right, let me show you. I'm in my car. That's Walmart. Can you see that? That's Walmart. Oh shit, I gotta make sure nobody's in that car right next to me. Oh, that's Tom. What up, Tom? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm definitely in my car, y'all. Guys, listen, there's one thing that, that I'm not gonna do is bullshit you guys, all right? I'm in my car, I'm not in, in, in an apartment yet. When I am in an apartment, you guys are gonna know. You must be saving money like crazy with no rent or mortgage. Um, yeah, so I am, I'm not saving any money, to be honest with you. Um, all the money I get is going towards the ridiculous amount of debt and payments that I have. If I'm being honest. All right, so, um, boom, 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 boom. We're going down. What cash app do you use and do you use one for your food deliveries? What cash app do I use? Um, I don't use Cash App for deliveries. I, I just use the, the actual apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Scrubhub. Are you, do, 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 Bran, what's the average mileage a year you put on your vehicle? I just did my taxes. Um, I think I clocked in at about 45,000, 45,000, but that was total. Uh, out of the, out of the 45,000, 38,000 of that was business related. So a massive write-off, but it really wasn't, uh, really wasn't enough because I made so much money. I made, I made over 50 grand in gross in gross income last year, um, with Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and with the entertainment company I work for all combined. This is all self-employment work. Um, and, um, after expenses and taxes, guys, I was kind of sick to my stomach to see how much I, I was actually earning. So I'm trying to d diversify my income right now and possibly maybe get a nine to five job so that so that I can um, do away with all these expenses. Because as much as I love being a gig worker, I'm coming to the realization that, you know, it's just not worth it, you know, with, with, the, uh, with the expenses and taxes. Self-employment tax is harsh. All right, guys, I, I have to catch up here. Um, hey, what's up? Do you have Walmart Spark driving out there? Have you ever tried? I do, but I don't. Uh, you have a high amount of viewers for each live, more than the channels with a lot more subs. Try and call out anyone not subbed in a short, playful way, five seconds or so, and get back on with you what, what you're doing. What does that mean? Uh, Beach Bum, spending crazy rent money here in LA. I bet you are. Blue Top says, hit the like button. Utopia of Food says, oh, I was trying to tell you earlier that I'm in Canada. NB stands for New Brunswick, Atlantic Canada. Not quite Newfin Newfoundland, but close by. Okay. Deb says, hello from Canada. It's, Canada is strong right now. Uh, Zizan, you got many viewers from Brazil. Shout out to us. Listen, shout out to everybody in Brazil. Harper, could you say heebie-jeebies? Just did. Hakeem says, um, my grandma died. I'm sorry, Hakeem. That's, that's very sad. My condolences to you. Uh, Sherry Ann says, hey, from Oregon, keep on living the good life, sober and happy. Viper, when is the next video? Well, I just dropped a video this morning. 
you know, uh, keep in mind, guys, that I work full time. So, like, um, I do my best to put out content, but uh, it's like every 10 days for me, like, like I'll, I'll be lucky to get a nice video out every 10 days. But I try to put out, like, impromptu videos as well if I just have a fast topic on my mind or... If I have uh, mail, I'll do like an I'll do like opening my my subscriber mail. People seem to like that episode where I just opened up mail, so I'm I'm gonna keep trying. But I just dropped a video um, this morning, so check that out. And this is kind of a video, right? No, no, it's not. It's a live. Let, let's be honest with ourselves. Okay, do you find that people tip generously for deliveries? Um, people tip average. You know what I mean? And honestly. Um, we get to choose, right? So I, I choose the ones that are worth my time, but um, they don't tip a whole lot, no. And a part of me doesn't blame them because DoorDash is an absolute ripoff. I've ordered DoorDash, and like, what, what, if you're struggling financially and you order from DoorDash, it's it's you're gonna be hard pressed to 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 leave a nice tip. And companies like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Do DoorDash in particular, the fees are just ridiculous, man. Some greedy people on the top, man. Tony Zhu or whatever his name is. These guys don't give a shit about us. They really don't. They're making billions off of us. All right, do you find that people... T uh, sorry, greetings, Brand. It's Dillard from Virginia. What's going on, Dillard? <clears throat> hey, I'm in Delaware. Sherry Ann, 184 watching and, and only 72. What's going on? 72? So I have Sherry Ann likes... Zayden says, sup. Emmett says, howdy from Austin. How do you know what is a good run to take and what to decline? So I usually do um, $1.75 per mile would be my minimum nowadays, but I try to get $2 per mile. So you just kind of like, if an order comes in for $10, right? Um, if it's like six miles or more, I might decline it. You know what I mean? Because it's, 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 starting to kind of cost me a little bit to to run it out so ten dollars uh, for five miles is is a is like an ideal offer and also you know you also got to look at the map where is it going like because if, if it's going five miles into the woods well now you got you got to drive five miles back and now you're making a dollar per mile so you have to kind of um you got to Look at the map. Where is it going? Is there restaurants in that area? And then, you know, ma make your decision based off of that. They give you plenty of time to make a decision. But it's also like you got to keep in mind. It, it, it's like playing pool, right? It it matters where your um, where your cue ball ends up, right? You got to set yourself up for the next shot. And, and, and DoorDash is kind of the same in that, you know, you, you need to, you know, you are the cue ball. Your car is the cue ball. And you need to make sure your car is near the eight ball. The eight balls, the restaurant. Way too many metaphors here. All right. Um, greetings from North Began, New Jersey. All right, so hold on a second. Some comments are ridiculous. I mean, come on. Uh, greetings from North... Sorry, I keep reading the same thing. Come on, click like if you're watching. Hello from Canada again. Hey, Ben, dropping by to show some love. Hope you're doing good. Thank you. Plant with Debbie. Hey, everyone. Uh, Blue Top Beatty. Uh, we got my homeboy, homie. Hiya. We got Maria. Even though I don't live in my car, I still feel lost. Thank you for your inspiration. Well, keep it up, Maria. You will find that inspiration. Donna, did anyone ever tell you you look like Garrett? Leaf Garrett? Don't worry, it's a compliment. I don't I don't know who Leaf Garrett is. I've heard of his name before. Is he, a, is he in a band? Jock Sox says, hey. Senek. Exactly. He needs to call it out in playful manner. I know you guys are making up your own games here. Fresh Ice says, hey, this is Toy. Love the channel. I'm watching while I DoorDash in Dallas. All right. Best of luck out there. Okay. Um, we got Leonardo. You are an inspiration. Don't ever give up in, in life. Thank you, sir. Lunda. Now this is, uh, sorry, love your channel. Thank you, Lunda. And Debar says, now this is wheel living. Leo, are you able to run a small coffee pot with your with your with your uh, Zachary? I would say so. If, if if I can run a rice cooker, I, I can run a coffee pot. Uh, Lindsay Lindsay says hello. Hello, Cherry uh, Cherokee Music. Hi from New York. Have you ever done Walmart Spark? No. 
Let's dance. Hello from the UK. You're up late. It's nearly three o'clock in the morning. Thanks for joining us. You got to get to work soon. Fog on the tin. Hello from the UK again. Chuck Tro! OG subscriber right there. What's going on, Chuck? Beach Bum. Is this lifestyle addictive? Uh, well, not paying rent can be quite addictive. Yeah, it's, uh, if, if I have to say so. Uh, you have much influence all over the world. Congratulations. Thank you, Anne. Sherry Ann, super thanks to you. 171 watching. Seven, oh, yeah, I, I already saw you. Sherry Ann, I want to thank you again because I, I just now noticed your, your, your super chat. Thank you so much. Stay Geek. I just watched one of your videos, then saw you were alive. Thanks for the inform informative videos. I'm doing good, Chuck. I'm trying to keep up with these comments, brother. April Davis says, born in Rhode Island, but spent most of my life in LA. I have a small YouTube channel and you're killing it. Inspirational. Thank you, April. I appreciate that. And all, um, all the success in the world to you for your, for your YouTube channel. Um, Lindsay says, hello from Voorhees, New Jersey. Heart, heart. Uh, we've also got um, Holly M. Bren, you're handsome, just like the ninjas. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Senek says, you're a champion. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. We got people making friends in the chats. That's beautiful. AZN, thank you. Super chat. Frankie says, I've been binge watching your videos since your channel. Since I found your channel, your videos are so cool. Love your music choices too. Much love from Ohio. Thank you so much. Lone says, a glorious good evening to you all from storm-filled Missouri. Is it just me or does Missouri always have storms? Uh, thank you so much. I'm planning on doing car living actually as a hobby so I can roam the country. It's great do it go for it you know the shadow is coming you will see the darkness we're here now we're we're replaced with something darker thanks shadowtron appreciate that let me know when your head stops spinning around all right fog on 10 says hello from newcastle uk saffron hi brand new sub from central texas thank you sorry i'm still laughing at that comment danny Hey, brother, you're an inspiration to others. Love from Canada. Canada, you guys are in the house tonight. All right, you guys could start your own hockey team. We got picking for a living. I appreciate your positive attitude and chill vibe. It has been a good influence on me. Thank you so much. Super chat from good uh, uh, picking for a living. Simon, sup from Colorado. Used to live in Providence. Don't remember a whole lot, though. Ha. Hey, Simon, what's going on with you? Holly. That sound escape is for you and I, is for you and I and chill. Your biggest fan, boo. Thanks, Holly. Maria coming through, super chat. I just, I just read that, thank you. Sometimes the, the super chats come through at the bottom of the screen as well. So I, I sometimes read them twice by accident, but, but uh, I appreciate you guys. All right. We're going back over here. We're going back over here. There we go. Oh, I got two lights, even brighter now. All righty, let's do this. Greetings. I hope you guys are having a good time, guys. I'm just doing my best to um, engage. Greetings and salutations from West Virginia. Thank you for being so authentic. Thank you. Ow, what, what are you hitting yourself for? How about the tiny homes? I love those. Yeah, I like small homes too. Blue Top Beatty, hit the like. Your driver, Ken. What's the Ninja Turtles? Hey, your driver, Ken. I recognize you from Instagram, brother. What's going on with you? Um, Pancito Fellas. Hello. What's going on with you guys? Holly. All right, these people are talking to themselves. They don't build small houses anymore. I could only buy a trailer and would still be paying a lot of rent. I know, man. The cost of rent is is just a lot these days, man. You know? Uh, Maria Gardenapo saying, talking to Holly. RC, enjoy your channel. Thanks for the play it forward tip. Yeah, listen, the play it forward tip is, is great. And um, 
I watch a guy on YouTube. His name is Kevin O'Hara, and he has a he has a channel called Habits Unplugged. He has his own unique way through um, sobriety. Some of the things he says I agree with. Most of the things he says I agree with. Some things I, I disagree with. But for the most part, his channel is just amazing when it comes to people who want to stop drinking in particular. He's all about alcohol. So uh, check his channel out. It's called Habits Unplugged. There's always... Um, you can always find mentors on, on the likes of YouTube and some of them on Instagram. You know, there's, there's such a strong, sober community. You know, that's another tip that I would give you. If you're struggling with addiction, go online and create an account. You can be anonymous with it, uh, where you can just kind of create a, a name and create it like, and just a, a random picture for your, for your profile pic. Or you could put your face and you could just jump straight into the sober community as yourself. And what you're going to do is connect with other people, addicts and alcoholics. And you're going to find a lot of strength and support inside of that community. Um, I would start with Instagram. Instagram is terrific. It's a very positive sober community that you can find. And what you want to do is just type in the word sober and then go to accounts. And then all these sober accounts and just start following all of them. right? And then your feed is just going to be laced with, with, with people who are in um, recovery and you're going to be able to connect with them. And it's a, that's how I started my, my, uh, sober journey was connecting with people online. You got to jump into that community, take accountability and talk. All right. Talk about it. Okay. A problem shared is a problem halved. All right. So here we go. Um, I'm falling behind once again. Greetings and salutations from West Virginia. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm getting there, guys. I, um, Major Bro, keep it up, always positive, bro. You are so emotionally strong, it is impressive. Thank you, Jock Socks, that's a funny name. Greetings from Serbia, Europe. What's going on? I'm so happy I came across your channel, says Mo. Thank you, Mo. Scott, how do you deal with security guards? I go out and I hit them with a swift kick to the nuts. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, do you know what security guards... I, I just respect them. If, if a security guard tells me to leave, I'm out. It's only happened once. I've only been uh, approached by a security guard once, and it was a friendly encounter. They asked me to leave, and I, and I left. So you just got to respect them and also, you know, make sure they're not looking while you're setting up, right? So even though there's lights on in this car, from the outside, it's, it, you can't see the lights because it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty tight right here. Got to make sure no one's looking. Greetings, bro. So how do you go about keeping up with the maintenance on your car and putting so many miles doing deliveries? See, um, so I have a mechanic. Shout out Dennis. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a great mechanic. He's an honest mechanic. And I know there's not many honest mechanics out there, but this guy's legit. Um, so I set aside, um, what is it now? I set aside $100 a week just for maintenance and <clears throat> maintenance and repairs. But to be honest with you, man, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. You really have to be ahead of it. You know what I mean? You know, if you're struggling, falling behind, you're not going to have the money to pay for. Like, I, 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 I'm getting ti uh, my tires done on Monday, and that's going to be 800 bucks. Now, I have the money for it, thankfully. But then I'll be getting my brakes done as well. You know, and that's another 800 bucks, like uh, pads and rotors. So I would say like, you know, $1,500 a year just in, in, in brake pads and, and tires alone, you know what I mean? And you have to really plan ahead for that. I mean, what you want is profit. I mean, anybody who's in business for themselves, right? Everybody's got business expenses. It just so happens for gig workers, our vehicle is our, is our big expense. It's our only expense really, you know? But it's, it's a huge expense. And if you're not making profit, you know, it's, it's gonna be tough. But um, I've just come to the realization that I don't make a lot of money after taxes. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's crazy how I can make close to 50 grand a year. And, and I would walk away with closer to like 30 grand, you know what I mean? Somewhere between 25 and 30 grand. And that's, that's the truth of it all. But the thing with me is, is that I do gig work and I have side hustles. So I do work for an entertainment company as well. So I have supplemental income. And now that I have YouTube, I have supplemental income and, um, that's why I'm kind of sticking with what I'm doing. Otherwise, I would definitely have to find another job because the gig economy is just getting rough. 
I just don't like working nine to fives and having people make my schedule and all that. Lourdes, I don't know if I thanked you, but I'm thanking you again. Um, fan in Illinois is here. Nice to see you live. Keep going, bro. Thank you, Jason. Kyle says, I sent you something in the mail. You should get it next week. I binge watch your videos each time this week. There is something relaxing about ride-alongs with the deliveries. Thank you so much, Kyle. I'll keep an eye out for that. Hex World says, what sort of internet are you using? It seems to be really good. Uh, so this is just, um, this, is, this is my network, my Verizon network. That's all. I have unlimited data. Um, what's going on? So Dana says, I delivered DoorDash in, in Wildwood, New Jersey. Tiny homes in tiny neighborhoods. What do you think? Uh, if it's working for you, keep it up. Hold on a second. Scott, keep up the good work. Uh, we love sharing your journey with us. Uh, thank you so much, Scott. I appreciate you. Much, much love. Much love. Love that support. North Carolina here. Uh, that is Leo. What's going on with you? We've got uh, Goofy Cat. Oh, hi, I'm back. Costless. Love your video, Bren. Thank you so much. Danny says hi from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. What's going on with you, Denny? Shoe Girl says, hi, Bran. I love your videos. They are the highlight of my YouTube feed. Question, what is the scariest moment or experience you have had since living in your car? Okay, so um, I was in a Walmart and uh, I'm pretty sure I heard gunshots. Uh, and, I, I, you know, it's, it's kind of, it sounds dramatic, but I, there was an altercation that went down in, in a Walmart and... Um, I was quite far away from all the hassle, but th there sounded like gunshots and and um, and a lot of commotion. Like there was a lot of like screaming outside and people were running around and then the cops came and it was like this whole ordeal. And it took place at around 10.30 at night and I was in my car, I was far away from it all and I was just kind of looking out the window uh, all night and uh, I didn't hear anything about it on the news. So I, I think, Maybe it was um, it was a scare of some sort, or maybe it was someone was shooting up in the air to scare someone. Nobody was hurt, nobody was killed. Um, otherwise, I would have heard about it. But that was probably the scariest uh, moment in, in in a Walmart parking lot. But that was about a year and a half ago. I was about about probably eight months in in it at at that point. But nothing like that has happened since. It's kind of just it, it was a isolated incident, as as, as they would say. Um, sending you look of the Irish. Thank you, remote viewer. Kevin says, hi. Kevin says, a, there's a funny looking emoji. Dylan Dog, hi from Somerset, UK. Hell on four wheels says, well, hello. Uber driving mama here from near Toronto, Canada. Stay happy. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness. Do you ever treat yourself? Uh, I just joined. What are we talking about? We're just, I'm just reading comments at the moment and I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay, um, stay up with it. So, uh, do you ever treat yourself and book yourself to a hotel room for a night? Um, I, I can if I want to, but I'd rather save the money. When I was drinking, I spent a lot of money on motel rooms so, so that I could just drink indoors all day, like just binge drink, um, because I was afraid of getting a DUI. So I, I would just book like cheap motel rooms. Like, and, and uh, it's funny, I treated, my, like I wasn't really treating myself either. I just wanted a place to binge drink. And um, I could if I wanted to, but I would rather save the money. I mean, look, I have a nice little space here, but um, you know, as, as my finances improve, I'll be able to you know, do more things like that. But when I was actively uh, uh, drinking, I was, I was spending a, uh, a lot of time in motel rooms and it was, it was, a, it was a tough time, but that's behind us. Um, greetings from Portland, some, sorry, Poland. What's going on? What's up, brother? I've been watching you for a minute. Thank you. She love Casper. Blue top baby. Smash the light. Carolyn Everett says, where are the Ninja Turtles tonight? We got Donnie right here. 
And then we have, we got Michelangelo right here. And he's in his holiday gear. I don't know, he's, he's trying to go on vacation, I guess. We got Raph right here. And I don't know where Leo is. Leo's off training as usual. Um, so, glad I made it to one of the new subscribers from Connecticut. I've been binge watching YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I've been homeless myself. Oh, okay. All right, Gina. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Claude Martin, thanks for the live video. I really enjoy your content. Hello from Brazil. Brazil again, Hidden. Keep up the good longer videos. Thank you so much, Hidden. I appreciate it. I, I try to, I try to. Those longer videos require a lot of time. Mo, hello from Eastern Shore, Maryland. What's going on? Spirit Brothers UK, hello everyone. Paranormal investigators from the UK here. How are you all doing? Dude, you're a freaking Spirit Brothers? All right, we need to turn the live on to this guy. I'd love to, like, I, 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 I kind of like ghost story vibes, man. Come back into the lives and tell us some freaky stuff. Leo says, check local fire departments. They give those units out for free. Uh, simply being me. Good evening from Vegas. What's going on? Uh, Dirty Birdie, 313. What's up, brother? Love all your content. Sarah from Ireland. Hello from Belfast in the north of Ireland. Oh, hello. I was born in Dublin. Uh, Sarah, uh, I was I was only I was only young when I moved over to the states though I was nine. There was a bit of buffering two times so far. Would you have a drink on a Would you have a drink on a video? Um, no. <laughs> um, even when I was drinking, I wouldn't drink on camera. I wouldn't be bothered with that. Um, I'm I'm an alcoholic, Scott, so I I, I don't drink. Uh, Gina Gilbert Gathering, thumbs up, did for a while. Scott says, thanks for going to the movies and popcorn. Yes, Scott, you must have uh, saw me on, on Instagram. Yeah, uh, popcorn was a better choice. The movie was, movie was all right. I've seen better Kung Fu Pandas, but Kung Fu Panda 4 was okay. The Green Light Lounge, love it. We got kind of a mixture of lights right now. It keeps changing color. Um... So glad you got a car, bro. Five years ago, I was homeless for nine months without a car, and it gets cold here in the UK. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. CW didn't get a notification again. Ah, you got to hit that bell icon. Chris, how do you keep from running out of oxygen when you sleep through the night in your car? Um, I don't run out of oxygen. You know what I mean? I've, I sleep very well. Sorry. Sorry about that. I dropped the camera. I sleep very well back here, guys, and, and I, I don't run out of oxygen. I get that question a lot. I think that might be a paranoia question. Like uh, uh, People are genuinely concerned about running out of oxygen, but I can tell you from personal experience, over two years living in my car, I've never had an issue with it. You know, I wake up, I, I wake up feeling quite refer, uh, refreshed. May I ask as to why you didn't claim bankruptcy? I had to do it once. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm, I'm behind, but I'm, I'm not doing that. I don't need to claim bankruptcy just yet. Uh, that would hurt my credit, I, I would imagine. So I'm just going to keep on working. I'm going to pay off this debt, and I'm, I'm going to keep at it. My income has increased, so um, I'm, I'm going to keep after it. I love your camera angles. You produce quality videos for living in your car. New sub. Thanks, Bailey. Frank T says, hello, sir. How is it going? It's going good. Jen, how you doing? Granny Noodles, how you doing? John Forte, I like your animated videos. Thank you, John. Uh, Hex World, rents crazy everywhere. $1,200 for a one bedroom here, insane. That would actually be a price that I would be okay with. Uh, Frank T, how about e-commerce? You can try that as an alternative. Guys, I have something in the works that I, I've been working on. Um, I've been, I have my laptop here and I lost you for a second, guys. Sorry about that. But yes, I'm, I'm working on uh, a project at the moment that I'll be releasing, kind of like a merch store, and uh, that, that's coming. So that's that's e-commerce. I've been studying up a lot about that. Uh, so Ella, shout out for my birthday. Happy birthday, Ella. Granny Noodles, hello from more, uh, Ohio. Tornadoes all night. Jeez. 
Enjoy longer videos like 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes is like, that's the sweet spot right there. Uh, do you make more from more money from YouTube or the apps? Um, so what's crazy about that is that um, this month it will be my highest earning um, my highest earning month with YouTube. And last month was February and later in the month of February, that's when one of my videos kind of went viral and, and it, it, it's still going up. It's, it's at 300,000 views nearly now. So $1,900 I pulled in last, uh, last month with YouTube. But after taxes, that would be more like $1,300, right? Because uh, I, would, I would set aside 30% for, for taxes. And this month, um, for March, we're already up over 2K, two grand. Um, and, um, you know, that's because I, I keep putting out uh, content and also because of this one video that just, it just doesn't want to quit. It's just going up and up and up. Um, but I'll have to put out 30% every time I get a paycheck from YouTube because if I don't, I will, I will get hit with a massive tax bill at the end of the year. So I need to make sure that I'm not spending recklessly and I, I wouldn't spend recklessly anyway particularly because I'm sober but um, I just have to be careful with, with with that income because I have to pay not only taxes I have to pay I have to pay self-employment taxes as well which is double tax for for us so um, I'm grateful to have the extra income but it has not yet replaced my gig work income but if it keeps going like the way it's going now it, it probably will it probably will but it's um, what I've learned about YouTube is that income can be quite uh, unpredictable. You know, you can have a great month and then you could have the next month and you can make half or a quarter of what, what you made the previous month. So it's unpredictable. Sorry, that was a very long winded answer. All right, guys, I'm doing my best to keep up with y'all, man. Y'all are coming at me with these comments. It's incredible. Try not to talk to 259 people at once. Let's do this. Or 238, it says. <clears throat> yeah, you got the eyebrows going. Uh, uh, do you make... Oh, that's the one I just... Hey, Brand, I'm currently trying to sort out my bullshit with alcohol. You're an inspiring guy. Just wanted to let you know you're appreciated. Congrats, congrats to you on your sobriety. Thank you so much, Joey. Joey, get online and... and um, Look up some mentors. Like I said, check out Habits Unplugged. Okay, the guy knows his stuff. He's He has a unique approach to, to, to letting go of alcohol. And he walks, he hikes. This guy got sober at 45. And, and um, he was, you know, he, he's kind of like me. He was like a, a bit of a binge drinker, but he doesn't refer to himself as an alcoholic. Some people, like I mentioned in my last video, they, they don't need the labels and some people hold on to the labels. You know what I mean? Um, but um, there's just so many different approaches to recovery. You can try AA as well. I would, I would recommend jumping into an AA meeting. You know what I mean? It's free. You know, you might as well go in there. You might meet some people and it's always good to just to keep your options open and try everything. Throw everything but the kitchen sink at it if you have to. All right, get off the booze, man. It's poison. It's freaking poison. All right. And I know it's hard. And I know it's easier said than done. But we, we need to realize that that you know at the end of the day, alcohol is poison. All right. So sup, sup, brother. Um, couch for sale. Is the couch still for sale? What couch you talking about, buddy? Um, my rent in Japan for two bedroom apartment is four hundred and fifty dollars. Man, we're moving to Japan, baby. Let's get it. CW, love the channel. You're inspired to me. Pay down massive debt one day at a time. Gina, subscribers mail, uh, subscriber mail are good videos and, and how to's. Thank you. I'll, I'll most likely be dropping another one of those videos next week because I just noticed that I got uh, notifications from the UPS store. Y'all sent me some more mail. So there's going to be more action. All right, we got 20 minutes left, guys. So we're, we're, we're still going strong. I hope I'm doing okay. And apologies if I'm just all over the place. I'm trying to answer. So Amazon, bro, Amazon. Okay, John, I don't know what you mean by that. Me and Meeks, what's up from North Carolina? The Pushbike Surfer. Wish you all the best, Brian. You're an inspiration. Thanks, buddy. 
Dustin Folan says, who is the GOAT of the NBA? Michael Jordan. Maria says, how do you keep your beard so nice? Um, I trim it. I have a trimmer back here and, and I, I'm freaking, I'm, I was up in the car with it. I have a little thing that I put down on my lap to, to catch the hairs and everything. <laughs> and I, you know, I just stand out and, you know, breeze myself off and I'm good to go. You know what I mean? Thanks. I do pretty well and I shave when I'm in the gym, you know? So people, that's one of the things people kind of don't understand. They're like, how does this guy, this guy doesn't live in his car because his, his beard is trimmed. It's like, dude, we can do things. Like, like people don't understand. Like we can go to the bathroom, we can cook and we can shower and do all the, people think we're freaking cavemen. Some like, like, like we can't do stuff. Come on guys, get with it. There's two people who understand uh, people who live in their cars, right? That's the people who live in their cars and people who are interested in people who live in their cars, like like you, right? So people like my subscribers who, ta who take an interest to learn, um, they, they take a minute to actually see what the perspective is from one of us, they understand it. And um, there's just a lot of people who don't take the time to look into our lives, they, they don't understand it. And that's okay, it just is what it is, right? But yes. Uh, hello from Cleveland, Ohio. Cherise Pace, what's going on with you? Loan Travel 2016, what's going on? Gig work requires constant strategy and realignment. Very difficult. I agree, man. Um, my sister ordered DoorDash three to four times a week, but she does tip 12 to $15. That's impressive. That's impressive. Bren, how old are you? I'm 39, Zezin says. You know, can I get a shout out? A small content creator hoping to expand. King of meme, what's going on with you? King of meme. Hi from Edmonton, um, Canada. I don't think about Amazon, no. Not really. Which Ninja Turtles do you have? I got all four of them. And I've got different variants of them, too. I've got like eight or nine Ninja Turtles in here probably right now. Uh, let's see. The last video was great. Keep up the great content of your daily life. Thank you, Charina. Appreciate that. All right. So Cleavon says, are you on probation or parole? Neither. Thank God. So... Sean Scarlud, sending nothing but positivity and good vibes. Thank you, sir. Ivy Dixon, hiya from New Zealand. Friday afternoon, love your attitude. Thank you so much, Ivy, I appreciate you. Retro, -jor, Retro Gore, you sound like Raphael from the old, 90, from the old 90s TMT cartoon. Um, a Jose Caseco bat? Tell me, you didn't pay money for this. I love that scene when he's uh, when he when he meets Casey Jones for the first time. Oh man, that's a good one. Gotta watch that movie again. Hi from New Zealand. I already saw that. Uh, Katie, ten dollar. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for the super chat uh, for Michelangelo because he's all because he always makes me laugh. And we got the orange heart. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Katie. Shelley says hello from Suki, British Columbia, Canada. What's going on, Shelly? Bren, any advice for recovering from family member trying to hustle me and pimp me out with no remorse? Um, yeah, you got to cut ties. You know what I mean? That's a toxic situation. You got to cut all toxicity out of your life. You know what I mean? It's another form of sobriety in, 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 in a way that person is toxic, whether it's family or not. You got to cut them out, you know? It's also a form of minimalism. You know what I mean? You, you gotta, you gotta get rid of things that don't serve you, you know, in, in, in a good way, you know? It's okay to have people around you who, who criticize you in, in a constructive way. You know what I mean? You, you don't want to surround yourself with a bunch of yes men, but if someone's like trying to hustle you, you, you need to cut, cut the ties. Um, so I actually, uh, you asked that question twice and I, I hope you're an actual person and not a bot because I've been getting a lot of bots. 
Uh, Mickey says, why wouldn't you just stay in the car until, until you can get a house? I mean, I'm not that far yet. I mean, it's, I've, I've got a ways to go. All right, so um, Dolores Dyer, greetings from Trinidad in the Caribbean. Oh, wow. Weather must be beautiful down there. Sonia Hughes. Hey there, Sonia. Dolores, what's going on? Ann Williams, you're doing extremely excellent in this life. Thank you, because I just didn't know if I was. I try. And I'm, I'm doing this with an iPhone, guys. So um, I'm trying to, so that's why I'm looking down so much. Um, okay, so Nicholas says, what's up, Chief from North Provolone? <laughs> AKA Providence. I've never heard anybody refer to that as North Provolone. But I, again, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, a native uh, Rhode Islander. I'm quite new to Rhode Island. If you, th I'm actually, I, I moved to Rhode Island back in 2021, February 2021. So I'm quite new. But I lived in Massachusetts for 10 years before that. So I think I've earned a little bit of New Englander stripes. Um, hey, what's up? Oh, sorry. Let's go Mountaineers. Yes, Tony. Don't know who th those guys are. Shelly, hit that like button. Holly, Bren, your twin mattress is lonely. Invite me over. I'd rather be there than in this misery of mine. Yeah, you ain't gonna fit on this thing. Unless you want to wake up with a foot in your ass. Sorry, that sounded awful. What I mean is I kick in my sleep. You don't want to sleep next to me. You know, I take karate lessons in my sleep. J and JW, Bren, thanks for brightening my spirits and giving me hope. Cheers from Bethesda. What's MD, buddy? That's a state, right? Alexander says, hey, Bren, I just started watching you all love from Sweden. We just joined NATO. Okay, is that a good thing? Thank you, Sweden in the house. Sonia Hughes, what's going on? We got a gamer in the house. Hi, Sean Scarlin says, no booze for 26 years by choice. Never had a problem, just thought it was silly. Congrats on your journey. Let's go. I, I'm always, I always admire people who just don't drink, not because they're an addict, just because they realize that their life is just better without it. You, you're a rare breed. You are a rare breed. Uh, good for you. And no criticism also towards people who do drink. You know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, there's no judgment there. If you can enjoy a few drinks and not end up, you know, waking up in the morning with, you know, regret and shame and on like in, in, in a bad way, enjoy yourself. Hey, Brent, love your content. I tried to do, um, I tried to do dry for March, but fell off the wagon by the tenth. Yeah, it's rough. I huh? see. It's 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 harder than than you think, right? Some people will say I don't have a drinking problem, and then they'll they'll try to do thirty days off, and and they'll realize how how difficult it actually is, right? So just imagine, I'm coming up on nine months. It's, you know, it's um. Although it does get easier. It, uh, for, for me, like when I passed that six month mark, I started to feel a lot more stronger in, in my sobriety. But I think about drinking every day, every day, every day. So I feel you on that. Um, hi, Brand, love your content. Oh, sorry, I wrote this line. Always listen to your heart first, but ignore your mind. That's a good one. My mom would say, listen to your gut. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I'm so proud of, of my husband. I totally understand my husband went to rehab eight times and never, it never worked just for a little while. He's been clean for over six years now. You got to want it bad enough. That's absolutely true. Nobody can get you sober but yourself. I mean, you really, I mean, you can use help, but you initially need to want it. You know what I mean? It's tough to get off it, you know, but you have to want it. The sun and moon just wanted to stop by and put up a like. I'm deaf, so I will come back when, when um, closed caption is available. Ah, you're deaf. Um, I'm going to attempt to do sign language. <laughs> that was awful. Sorry. Uh, 
All right, I, I I don't know how to I don't know how to communicate to a deaf person really, but uh, thanks for coming in. I try, I try. I just ordered my stuff to move into my car. You're an inspiration. Hey, Astu, best of luck. Bree, love you too. Uh, glad to see you on the live. Love your channel. Thank you so much. Walking by faith. Do they care if you stay over, although it closes at 11? You talking about Walmart? Nah. Nah, man. They don't give, they don't give two shits. Uh, I just wanted to stop by and pick up a like and... You know, best wishes. Let me tell you something about the people who work at Walmart. Towards 11 o'clock, they don't care. There could be a war going on in the parking lot. They just want to go home and, and watch Netflix. Or, or they want to go back to their families. Like, the whole parking lot could be on fire. And it's like, all right, John, see you later. They're, like, they're just going to keep going. So, like, I, I feel so unbothered in this Walmart parking lot. It's ridiculous. You know what I mean? I just ordered, all right, so, um, new subscriber from Mongolia. Keep it up. What's going on, Esna? Zizan, have you ever thought about getting a CDL and driving a truck locally? Pay is considerably better than delivery. N considerably? Pay is like quadruple better than freaking delivery, if not more. Um, I have thought about CDL, but you know what? CDL would keep me away from my son so much. I, they get paid a lot, but they... The, the, the trade-off is the, the time on the road, you know what I mean? Like, at least with deliveries, I can stop what I'm doing in an instant and go be with my son, you know what I mean? And, and that's one of the main draws for me as a gig worker is having that flexibility so that I can pick my son up from school, go play basketball or go for a run, go to the gym, and then get back to work and hustle. There's no other job that, that, that allows me to do it. It's the biggest pro of, of being a, a you know, a independent contractor, like a DoorDash driver or an Uber Eats driver or Instacart, whatever. You get to choose your schedule. Nobody is, is interfering with that. It's all you, right? And, uh, but the biggest drawback would be the vehicle expenses. You, you really have to weigh that out. And I think that like gig work should be side hustle, right? But with YouTube now, I, I'm actually starting to realize that I can knock off like two days if, if I wanted to. And I, I feel soon I'll be able to go to a part-time schedule with, with gig work and that maybe I can work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, or even Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I can take off, use that time to edit, use that time to work on my channel, use that time to come up with new ideas, uh, to film talk videos and whatnot, and, you know, build my, my channel because... It seems to be a worthwhile venture for me right now because of the growth and because of the audience, right? So you guys are connecting with me and I'm connecting with you and this is something that we can grow together. So I'm going to work on that. So I, I don't know. I might be able to find a way out of the gig economy with this. I've completely lost my place. How about this, guys? If I don't get to your comment, just know that I appreciate you for being here and we're just, we're vibing right now, guys. We've got seven minutes left in this live, guys, before I, I, I go to bed. I gotta, I gotta be up early. I'm bringing my son to school in the morning, and that means I gotta wake up at 6.30. Okay. <laughs> There's some funny comments in here. All right, hold on. Where do you stay when you have your son? Well, my son and I just like go out and like, we'll go like play basketball or we'll go for a run or we'll go to the gym go get something to eat um you know sometimes i book a room at the marriott you know and and we'll just have a boys night out or two nights out if if, if i want that's when i'll really book a um book a room you know if, if my son's with me you know so we can spend time doing that um you know so yeah we just go out and we do stuff you know we we spend time together we do activities all right so guys here we go Man, I, I'm really dropping the ball here. Dude, five plus years on alternative housing, debt-free, 30K savings. I won't spend the savings now and I won't live where I can't leave the neighbors. Good for you, just me. Ivy, Kiwi from New Zealand here. Love your vids, you're inspiring. Thanks, Ivy. 
Kaza says, good morning from Berlin, Germany. Good morning. Oh, morning time. Brenda says, hi, Bren. Upgraded Titan TV man says, hi. Eastern Shore person. I'm the only one on the other side of the state. What's going on with you? Did you grow up in New Orleans? No, I did not. Uh, Holly, would you go back to Dublin and, and live? Possibly in the future. Possibly in the future. I always feel like I'm going to find an Irish girl. I, I always feel like that's going to happen someday. Hmm. We just don't know. Um, what I most enjoy and benefit from is your pace. You never panic or rush. Even when others might go way off track, keep it going, amigo. Thank you. Are you talking about deliveries? Um, Brenda, I think you're going to make some good money on YouTube. Um, quite possibly, guys. Quite possibly. T Tarek T D K. where are you reading comments from? I can't see the ones you read. Yeah, it's inter interesting. I'm reading them right here on my screen. I'm using an iPhone. Good night, everyone. Dana, good night. All right, so where do you stay when you have your... I already answered that. The comment of oxygen in the car is ridiculous. What? It doesn't make sense like you live in a tank. Okay. All right, Holly. Uh, Paula Ford says, hi. Brantley Ellis says, are you gay? No, I'm not gay. Uh, so... Uh, let's see, we've got Michael Keo says, hello from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Cindy D. Hey, sir, I'm a new subscriber. I think you're great. Thank you, Cindy. Frank T. Slow down, people. Let him catch up with the comments. Uh, good for you, Filio. Thank you so much. Holly. Brent ain't gay. He's straight, and I love Ireland. Sexy, handsome, <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> oh, God. Frank Diaz, greetings from fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello from Kentucky, says Paula. Uh, Philios is great. I'll ride that viral wave, Bryn. Have you considered quarterly taxes? Yeah, I spoke to my accountant about that yesterday. I just, I, I just need to get caught. I need to get caught up. You know, I need to make my payments. Uh, I need to get caught up, and then I'll start doing quarterlies. Um, I'll definitely get on that. Um, so what do we got here? The shorts are what YouTube is paying for now. I don't get paid off of YouTube shorts. Do you have a girlfriend? What is dating like living in the car? I do not have a girlfriend and I don't date. I haven't dated in, in years uh, and I'm quite all right with that for now. Um, you guys already find something uh, to do because they really want to be in America. Yikes. Branda, if you have to live in your car, it's better than the streets. Yes, it is. You look like Paul Walker. Is that the really handsome guy from from um, Fast and Furious? Never got, got that one before. Thank you. Uh, silly, nine years sober, and I appreciate your attitude and content. Hey, congratulations on nine years. Was watching your vids last night. Became a big fan, man. Thank you, Fit Chick. Keisha K, do you ever um, taught about having a dog? Um, yeah, I'd like a dog one day when I have space for a dog, but I'm more of a cat guy. I love cats. I wish I could... Um, what does I say? I wish I could be Bren's girlfriend and just waiting for his respond. Yes or no, Bren? Yeah, okay. Um, let's see here. Brenda says... Yes, when, when you're with your son, where do you sleep? My son doesn't sleep over. Obviously, he can't. I mean, I live in a car. Um, so um, I, I spend like a few hours with my son, and I bring him back to his, his mom's house. That's the plan. Um, and, you know, he lives in a nice house. He's got his siblings, and he's got his mom and his stepdad. And, you know, they, they've got a nice little setup over there. You know, and I can still be here for him and still support him from out here while I'm getting my life together, you know? Okay, so Jelly says, you, Edgar, hi, what's going on? And what time do you go to sleep? All right. So Molly Brown, our nice glasses. We're going to skip over the silly comments. So does your son keep your car from getting, what? 
do you how do you keep your car from getting smelly? I don't know. I smell really good, so it's like an air. So my body's like like an air freshener. Um, no, but honestly, I use Febreze. I, I air out the windows. I clean the car frequently. I make sure there's no food lying around. You know what I mean? My car is pretty clean. So Charlie goes outside. Bren, you're an inspiration. I'm currently cutting back from drinking and stop smoking weed completely after years and years of hardcore drinking and smoking but it's amazing to see you doing well i appreciate that charlie john forte i missed part of the message uh did you ever think of trying amazon deliveries you you get benefits health dental and 401k um i would look into that i would look into that um i have health insurance right now through medicaid though because um because I'm considered low in, low income, I found a loophole. So I, I actually don't pay for health insurance and I'm covered and I have partial dental. Um, but as far as like the 401k match, that's, uh, I don't have that. I think the idea of 401k match and, you know, jobs offering, you know, uh, retirement benefits is, it's a, uh, it's great if you have a job with those things, but I wouldn't base where I work on those elements because I mean, like if I'm retiring, I'm 70 years old. The The new retirement age is, is pushing 70. So it's like, I'd rather just focus on the now live my life as opposed to working a certain job for that amount of time just to get certain retirement benefits. I'd rather put money away for myself somehow and do something I enjoy. Like being a content creator, if that's possible, right? Well, it already is happening, so we'll see. Uh, okay, so guys, I gotta I gotta end this live here. Um, we just hit the 90 minute mark, and I, I can't get to all of the questions. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I really appreciate it. If I didn't get to your comment, I'm sorry. There's just so so many of comments, and and um, I appreciate all of you for tuning in. All right. Um, so take care of yourselves, guys. Thanks for chilling with me in the lounge. I'll see you next time. Peace. I'm still on. <laughs> I'm still here, baby. No, I'm gone. I'm out. <laughs>